Hi guys, in this tutorial we will learn how to create a low poly TV stand as well as a low poly TV. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So in Blender, I'm going to go ahead and make use of this existing default cube that we have here when you open up a brand new Blender file. So I'm going to go into front view, then I'm going to tab into edit mode, and then I'm going to scale this down on the Z axis, so this blue one over here, so click and drag that and make this one really really thin so about one one smaller box maybe so in this case it's uh, so it's around about let's say there okay and from the y-axis I'm gonna uh, scale it down to about half we can do that or we can under resize we can just change this y to be exactly half by putting 0 0.5 over there and it should look something like that Okay, so once we've done that, let's go ahead and add in a loop cut right in the middle. So let's change this one to a uh, loop cut and let's click that one over here. Then uh, let's go back to select mode again. Let's go ahead and click and drag these four vertices over here and delete those vertices. Oops. Like so. So I'm going to go ahead and add in a mirror modifier by going to the modifiers panel add modifier mirror so it's whatever we do in this side gets reflected on the other side as well so we pretty much cut out half the amount of modeling time okay so let's go back to loop cut again let's add in another loop cut and back in selection mode actually let's go to move tool and move this on the x-axis so click and drag this red arrow over here and move it almost all the way to the end so somewhere around about there Okay, now let's go to face select mode and then also let's go to the extrude region tool. Let's go ahead and select this um, face over here right at the end. Let's click and drag this one up just a little bit. So once you've done that, straight away go to the add modifier and add in a, another mirror modifier and change this one from X. So untick X and make this one Z. So it now gets mirrored onto this side. So in order to see the mirroring effect properly, let's go ahead and select everything. So select all. And let's move this one down on the z-axis. And somewhere around there. Over here I'll turn on clipping. And then let's move this up. And now it clips into place so that no matter where I move it, it just changes the height of this TV stand. So this is pretty much our TV stand. So at this point I can just move it up to determine how high I want it. Or I can move it on the x-axis to oh, not sorry we, did, we need to also turn on clipping over here as well so now if I move it on the x-axis we can determine how wide we want our TV stand or how high we want our TV stand so now I want to be able to add in the shelves over here so again I want to go to the loop cut tool and add in a loop cut over here and then maybe one more loop cut tool and add it maybe somewhere over here like so let's go back to the selection mode and let's move this in place over here Let's uh, Alt and then click this loop over here. Oh, sorry. Shift Alt and click this loop so that you have both the loops selected. And move this a little bit to the side, like so. Let's go ahead and uh, add in a loop cut on this side as well. Uh, maybe one more over here. And let's move this one almost all the way to the end. Uh, Alt, select this one. And move this one almost all the way to the end as well. Okay, we'll finally go ahead and go to the extrude tool, go to face select and select this face over here and click and drag this one to the top so that it clips into place. Okay, so we have something that looks like that. Finally, for the actual shelf, uh, I'm going to tab out of edit mode. So it's an object mode. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and add in a new object. So let's add a new mesh and this will be a cube and now we'll create the actual shelf itself. So let's tap into edit mode, let's go to scale mode, scale it down on the Y a lot, scale down on the Z, scale down on the X, and just try and make it fit this area over here. So you can also hold down the shift key, that will give you more fine grain control over the scaling. If you want to model the inside of the shelf, all you need to do is just duplicate this one, like shift D 
and then uh, scale down on the Z and then scale up on the Y move it out like so scale up on the Y like so and move it down like that and then go into edit mode you then add in a bunch of loop cuts like this and then move one over here and then you would go into face select like that and then you just extrude up and then there you just join these two together and then uh, control J and then you'd have yourself so the shortcut to join these two together is by selecting this one then shift selecting this one to join them together you can either hit control J to join them together or you can go object join okay so that become one object so now I can select this entire object as one okay uh, oops so maybe I might uh, fix that up but anyways you don't have to do this I'm, I'll just leave that out as an ex exercise for you but that's pretty much how it, it would look Okay, it's not being perfect, but whatever. So that's one shelf. Uh, for the other shelf, I'll just go Shift D to duplicate, or like we've been doing throughout this course, you go to Object, Duplicate Objects, and then let's uh, hit X to constrain it on the X axis. And then we'll just go um, to Scale Mode and scale it down on the X. And let's just uh, move it into position until it covers almost everything like so okay so one more duplication duplicate objects hit x to constrain it and then let's move it over here okay one final thing we need to do is we need a way for users to open these shelves so we need to add in little handles so so for the handle itself uh it really depends on what type of handle you want you can either go for one of these handles so if i go um, so we go add mesh cube, uh, then scale this down. Oops. Scale this down, um, and then scale it out on the X. Oh, sorry, let's scale it down even more. Y. You can either create one of these types of ones, and then go into edit mode, and then you add in a loop cut. Well, perhaps two loop cuts. Two loop cuts like so, and then S Y. Scale it out on the x-axis, and then you'd select this face over here. Oops. You select this face over here, and where is the other one? Uh, shift select this. Oops. Shift select this face over here. Then you extrude out, and then you stick it like that. Then you simply just go ahead and duplicate that over here and over here. So that could be one option for you to create your for the, the sta um, for the handle for users. But I'm just going to go ahead and make it even simpler than that. I'm just going to go ahead and just add in add mesh UV sphere and let's make it quite low poly 24. Uh, that's rotated on the x axis. So go to rotate. Uh, rotate it a little bit like that and then let's say angle 90 degrees okay and then scale it down so click and drag a little bit like that and maybe we'll make it um, 0 0.1 0 0.1 so scale it down by 90% in this case mm, could be a little lower than that 0 0.05 yeah something like that then on top of that, let's go to move, move this out. Let's also go ahead and add in a cylinder. So add mesh cylinder. And it's quite big, so we need to go to rotate, do the same thing, move it a little bit, make it 90 degrees. Uh, let's scale it down so by clicking and dragging this. And let's also make this one 0 0.05, 0 0.05, and 0 0.05. Oh, sorry, it should, be, it should be even smaller than that. It should be actually be half this. So divided by 2, divided by 2, divided by 2. Okay, and that's pretty much our handle for this one. I'm going to go ahead and join these two together. So first select this one, shift select this one, and then control J to join them, or object join. Okay, once you've done that, just uh, duplicate them by 
duplicating and moving it on the x-axis and duplicating it again moving it on the x-axis and there you have your TV stand simple and sweet let's also go ahead and fill up the back as well so for that one a simple I don't know cube would be fine in that case I think We need to go ahead and apply every single modifier. Now you can go one by one and apply every single modifier as it sees fit. Or the really, really quick way, you want to select everything except the light and the camera. So uh, shift, double click this, oops, click this, and double click this one as well. Okay, and once you've done that, just uh, shift and then click one of, one of these objects over here. It can be anything, it can be that one. And then go to F3, that will bring up the search screen. Type in convert, hit enter and change this to mesh. So we want to convert this to a mesh. So that'll automatically apply every single modifier that you had. And then all you can do now is uh, go ahead and select everything except the light. Okay, and then once you've done that, all you need to do is hit Control J to join them or we just do this this way. So now it's just one object. So now we can go ahead and fix up the scale. So in this case, we want our our TV stand would be around two meters. So let's go ahead and scale it down to around about two meters. Perfect. And it's, it's around half a meter high. That's good enough. So that's good. And we'll just name this one something nice. So we'll call this one TV stand. And we'll just, uh, oh, let's go ahead and save our work. Let's go ahead now and give it a quick little material. So let's go to materials. For the main material, it will just be like a wooden kind of color. So I'll just give it a nice brownish kind of a color. Something like that. Maybe make it a little darker. And let's have a look at that in material view. Yeah. But for the shelves, I want to make it a little bit lighter brown. So let's uh, click a new one and let's make this one to be a lighter brown. Okay, and we'll call this one shelves. Oops. Shelves. And then let's now tap into edit mode and uh, let's select none. Oh, let's go to face select mode. And then select this face, shift select this face, and shift select this face. And then go to select, and then go select linked, and then linked. So that'll select this entire, this entire bit over here. Then go to shelves and then hit assign so now we have a different material for our shelves and that's it the material part is pretty much done we can keep the smoothness and all that other settings by default because uh, our shelf by default would have some smoothness so that's fine so that's the basics of creating a low poly tv stand using blender thanks for watching